Thought it was a great team win. If you enjoy offense, three-point shooting, and a lot of points, it was a good game to watch. You know, I, was, I think on our offensive end, clearly our most efficient performance there uh, on the season. Um, I was pleased at halftime. I thought the last eight to ten minutes of the first half, you know, we were checking the ball just to make sure it had a lot of air in it. You know, it just dribbled around. Uh, the ball didn't move. Uh, a lot of hero shots and led to very inefficient play. Uh, the second half, I thought we played the game the right way offensively. Ball moved side to side, a lot of great screens. Uh, we had 13 assists uh, on our 21 baskets and, and shot 68% from the floor. Uh, and then finally, in those last seven minutes, we, we were able to get, I don't know, maybe one or two stops. There weren't many stops in the game. Uh, but in that last seven or eight minutes, we were able to get enough uh, to, to get the win. But overall, I thought I thought a great team win, fun game to watch. Matt, uh, they were scoring 76 a game. Did you think it was going to be like a track meet kind of game and you kind of had to match threes for threes? No, I, I thought we would be able to guard them better, uh, honestly. Um, but you know, credit to Winthrop and Coach Prosser. They, ha they have a nice formula where they really shoot it well from three, and then they have a guy down in the post in Talford who shoots 85% in the paint from the floor. I, mean, I believe he's fifth in the country in field goal percentage. So skilled. So it puts you in some tough positions. And then Harrison is really good in the ball screens. Yeah, I think he put a lot of pressure on our defense. Uh, so they, they scored – a lot more than we would have liked. I uh, thought they were struggling with turnovers coming into the game. Forcing turnovers has been a strength of ours this year, but we just weren't able uh, to turn them over uh, very much. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, fortunately on the offensive end, we were able to execute really well there in that second half and, and score enough points to win. Yeah, I mean, just building off of that, it seems like there's a different guy every night that steps up for you. Tonight it was Cam Hayes. Just uh, what did you make of his performance out there? No, he was awesome. I mean, awesome. Anytime you score 25 points on 11 shots, uh, that's a good night at the office right there. Just so efficient, uh, shooting it well from three, took high percentage shots. Uh, you also look four assists, one turnover. We've just been – a very efficient offensive team with him on the floor. I think through the first eight games, we're averaging around 12 assists a game. Last three games, we're up around 18. And that's coming off a game we went four, 25 from three. So it could easily be a 19, 20 assists a game there. Uh, but uh, he's just been terrific. Very smart player. And uh, has really stepped into a huge role for our team. Coach, what do you like about this duo with KJ Williams and Fountain? They seem to really play off of, play off each other well. I think that's a really good point. I, I agree with you. Um, KJ haven't had the opportunity to coach him now for a hundred years. He's always really thrived when he has at that other forward spot a high energy, hard playing dude, junkyard dog type mentality. He really feeds off that. Uh, someone who helps him on the glass, and uh, it's it's been fun to watch. Uh, you know, I give KJ a lot of credit. Kind of got taken out of the game in the first half with the foul trouble, and then picked up that third early in the second half, uh, but stayed the course and and hit some huge shots. I believe he scored 16 in the second half, uh, despite the foul trouble, and uh, that was really important. But but him and Derek and Cam, that three. Uh, three-player lineman, uh, lineup, excuse me, uh, has been incredibly efficient uh, for us, uh, especially over the last two weeks. When when KJ came back in with about 12 minutes to go in the game, uh, you were down one, I believe, and y'all went on a 20 to seven run. Um, what was the key? I mean, I know he, I think he had six or eight in a row, but uh, that kind of seemed to wake everybody up, maybe. Well, I think overall just the execution offensively was, was really good in that stretch. Uh, we 
we were able to get him the ball in a variety of different places on the floor. Uh, and now you got to have good guards to get him the ball. The guards did a really nice job of screening to free him up, uh, and it created some easier scoring opportunities uh, for him. And then in that 20-7 to run, I thought really through those first 28, 30 minutes of the game, Winthrop was able to either get to the rim and score layups or shoot threes. And we were finally able to run them off the line, the three-point line some, force Talford's catches a little further out and make them take some of those mid-range 12 to 17 footers, a couple floaters, uh, and contested them well. And that led to some transition opportunities and then some really good offensive execution on our end. What did you see from Adam Miller tonight? Yeah, I, I think – uh, you hope he takes some confidence from his finish to the game. Uh, I thought his uh, focus and mindset was really good, uh, despite the, the struggles there from the floor in the first half. Uh, I have to go back and check the numbers. I believe he hit three of his last four. Uh, really good read off a pin down, curled it for about a 19-footer. Uh, we were able to bring him off a stagger screen on an out-of-bounds underneath play. Great screens by Derek and KJ. Stepped up and knocked that one down, uh, and then got a little crafty layup uh, in, in our transition game that, that I thought was really important. So uh, I, I think what I took away from it, you know, Adam finished the game strong. I think Juice Hill was more efficient offensively for us, uh, going three of five from three, three to one assist to turnover. Uh, I thought that was key. And then I thought Trey Hannibal off the bench, six assists, zero turnovers. And uh, Derek, uh, excuse me, uh, Kendall Coleman, seven rebounds in the first half really carried us around the basket. Okay, thanks so much. Everybody have a good weekend.